Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel, where you get daily and consistent hot topics in music, entertainment, reality TV, and more. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out when we go live, when there's breaking news, or when we upload. Today's video, we have to talk about the Real Housewives of Dallas. Wait, before you turn off the video, it's actually something interesting. I know Dallas did not appear to be the most interesting of the cities in the Housewives franchise, but Dr. Tiffany Moon added a lot to this franchise in this last season. And it's still on the fence whether or not she's going to be coming back for a new season. If you've been following this story since yesterday, Dr. Tiffany Moon had posted on her social media, previous member of the Royal Housewives of Dallas, which sparked rumors that she would not be returning for another season. Well, apparently she's changed it back. And everyone was wondering what, why would she you know, not come back to the Royal Housewives of Dallas? besides little ratings. I digress. Well, there was a lot of things going online over the last couple of days between her and her castmate of the Roswells of Dallas, Cameron Westcott. On the reunion, we thought they resolved this issue of Tiffany being racist against her own culture, but apparently that has trickled onto social media where Dr. Tiffany Moon has been receiving backlash from a lot of online bull bullying, including Cameron Westcott's family. Specifically, Cameron Westcott's husband, Court Westcott, that we've met on the show multiple times, who we thought was a decent human being, apparently isn't. This is what Court Westcott posted. He retweeted a bullying tweet. Bravo Babe wrote, on, wrote to Dr. Tiffany Moon on Twitter saying this, you claim to be quote unquote anti-racist to appeal to the hashtag woke ignorant mob, which advocates for racial discrimination. This is racism. How can you be a doctor with, with your open support of racists? Well, Court Westcott decided to retweet that and say this, adding Dr. Tiffany Moon saying, quote unquote, anti-racism is racism. It discriminates by the color of one's skin. They tried that once in Germany. It did not work out well. I don't understand how many of your patients would be comfortable with you treating them with your open vile racism. Make it make sense. I know they're in Texas. Let's not forget, this is a Texas city that we're dealing with here. I know you're from Texas, but look, we also know that not everyone in, in, in Texas is this ignorant. You, you may recall on the reunion, Cameron Westcott tried to justify her statements by saying that Tiffany making fun of her mother or making fun of her culture was racism. And we all looked at Cameron like, really, girl, we were, we were just starting to like you a little bit. But as I said before, it seemed as if they had put all that beef to the side, but apparently not. Court Westcott's tweet, Twitter account has been since deactivated. So I guess they've chased him off of Twitter. Chart Westcott, his brother, the names, um, his tweet is still up. I'm not sure if it's still up at this point, but at the time of this article, it is still up. Posted a screenshot showing that Moon had blocked him on Twitter and wrote, I've spoken to her twice, once when she was blackout drunk at my house, but needed to get home for early work. Wonder if she had a hangover while working on her patients. That is a serious accusation. And this is what Dr. Tiffany Moon decided to do because it is defamation and it is something that could cost her her job making a statement like this. So now she's fighting back against the Westcott family in a statement obtained exclusively by Variety. Her lawyer, Andrew Brettler of Lavely and Singer says this, the insinuations the Westcott's made in those tweets are reckless, defamatory, and appalling. Dr. Moon is a professional in every sense of the word and is deserving of the excellent reputation that she's earned as a physician and as a hardworking mother. These attacks on her character will not be tolerated. The Westcott's would be well advised to keep mentions of Dr. Moon out of their social media feeds. A spokesperson for Cameron Westcott's family did not return Variety's request for comments. But Bravo is not standing up for this. A lot of Bravo accounts were tweeting Bravo like, what is your statement on this? Especially in this time, there's been a lot of Asian hate going on. I had no idea until we had the, you know, Stop Asian Hate movement. I was like, this is really happening. Even here in New York City, I saw a video of this happening. I was like, what is wrong with you people? What is wrong? But this is what Bravo decided to post in response to the media backlash and uh, viewer backlash in regards to what 
the Westcott family has been posting on social media. Bravo posted this on their Instagram. Bravo strongly supports the Asian American and Pacific Islander community. Anti-racism is in fact not a form of racism. And the network stands by Dr. Dr. Tiffany Moon and her advocacy against racism and violence. The statement seemed to be met with immediate criticism for its lack of specifics. But it seemed enough for Dr. Tiffany Moon because she did respond under the post and thank Bravo for their support. This is partially probably why she decided to change her Instagram profile back to member of the Real Housewives of Dallas. Still not sure of whether or not Dr. Tiffany Moon will be re returning for another season. As you know, we did a tarot reading with Femme Tarot regarding the cast. And she said there are, there, there are mixed feelings on Tiffany, Dr. Tiffany Moon's side about returning to the Real Housewives of Dallas. And we've said it multiple times, she's part of the reason that the season was really good and that it's a reason to watch. Honestly, it's surprised that Dallas would be even coming back. The ratings don't seem that great for the city. It seemed as if Miami did better than Dallas, but it, I've said it also that I feel like Dallas is one of the rare cities that sticks to the formula that we originally loved about the Real Housewives and married housewives that are exceptionally rich. But I highly doubt that we will be seeing Cameron Westcott on our screens ever again. There's no way that Bravo can have Cameron Westcott come back when her husband and her have said things that have been very derogatory. I'm not going to support it if she's coming back. I don't know about, what about you? As always, let's discuss this hot topic in the comment section. I love Dr. Tiffany Moon, but everyone doesn't. But let me know if you're watching Dallas and your thoughts on this particular situation. As always, leave me a comment. Don't forget to like this video. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out when we have breaking news, when we go live, or when we upload.